Hey, our friends, today we're going to draw a toast. Yeah, we hope you're going to follow along with us. You got something to draw with. We're using a black marker, aren't we? Yeah. We like using black markers because we don't spend any time erasing, just drawing. Yeah. And your marker is squeaky. <laughs> and you also need paper. You ready to start? Yeah. Okay, first step, we're going to draw the outside of our toast. We're going to draw the bottom first. And we're going to draw a, it's kind of like a box. And I'm going to draw it sideways or diagonal. So I'm going to draw a line that comes down, over, and then back up. Look, it's kind of part of a box. So you can start right here, start right there, and then draw a diagonal line down. Yeah. And then over. Yes. And then back up. <laughs> you could have big toast. Now we're going to draw the top of our toes. And we're going to draw a big curve that goes around the top and then connects to the other side. It now, looks, it it looks, looks like, like toast already. Yeah, it looks like toast. <laughs> or bread. Your bread looks like toast. You know your bread looks like toast. <laughs> what does bread have on the outside? Crust. Yeah, it has crust. So let's draw another line, another shape that matches the first one we drew. So I'm going to go around the same the same shape that we already drew to draw the crust. So we got that first shape, and then I'm gonna come up and we're gonna do the top part. The top part of the crust. Comes around. Crust. <laughs> can you do that all by yourself? So you're gonna, you could start right here and draw that same box for the bottom part or the top part. <laughs> Good. And then we're gonna keep going down. Yeah, stay right next to it and then connect. Okay, what does toast always have on it? Butter! Yeah, butter, it's the best part. Do you like rubbing butter on your face? <laughs> My face is toast. So let's start by drawing, we're gonna draw a V right here on the top part of our toast. It's a little V. Yeah, because we're gonna draw our butter uh, sideways. No, oh, mine is pointy. You, yours is pretty big. That's okay. We're practicing, right? Then we're going to yeah. draw an A line for the top part of our butter. <laughs> that looks like a diamond shape. <laughs> it is a diamond I, shape. <laughs> I like your butter. It looks really cool. Okay, now what's our funny toast missing? A funny face. <laughs> <laughs> Let's draw his eyes first. I'm going to draw two big circles. One on each side. At the bottom. At the bottom of our toast. Yeah, at the very bottom. Sure, way down there. <laughs> That's a little eye. And then we're going to draw smaller circles inside of those two that we just drew. Yeah, and then you can color in the big one. I'm going to draw smaller circles down here in the bottom. But you can leave these off if you want. And then I'm going to color it in. Oh, what should we draw next? His mouth. His mouth. I'm going to draw a straight line right in between the eyes. And then I'm going to draw a U so his mouth's open and then color that in. All right, dude, we did it. We finished drawing our toast and it looks awesome, except we still need to do one last thing. What is it? Color it. Yeah, this part we're gonna fast forward, but you guys at the end can pause the video to match the same color. All right, dude, we did it. We finished coloring our toast and it turned out awesome. I especially love that you changed the face and made it look different than mine. What was your favorite part? Um, the mouth. The mouth, that was my favorite part, and I also really like your butter. We hope you had a lot of fun enjoying your toast. Yes, we do, we hope you had a lot of fun. Remember, you can change your toast so it looks different than ours, because the most important thing is... To have fun. Yeah, to have fun and to... Practice. Practice. We'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. goodbye. You said goodbye. No, you said goodbye. 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 If you had fun following along in this lesson, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the circle. Then you can click the bell to get notified every time we upload new videos. I've also picked out these two other lessons I thought you'd really enjoy. Don't forget to take a photo of your child's finished artwork and share it on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter because we want to see how awesome it turned out.